In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear out data that is locally stored in Hive with a button that prompts the user to confirm that they want to actually clear their data. So in our lib here, we can create a new folder and file, and the folder will be called widgets. And this is where we'll store some of our common widgets. And then this is going to be the reset game button. And since we will be using Riverpod, we're going to make our reset game button a consumer widget. So we're going to return from this widget an icon button, and we want the icon to be a restarting icon. So we'll just go ahead and use the icon of restart alt rounded. And this actually, of course, needs to go under the icon. And then our on pressed right now, we're just going to temporarily leave blank. And now that we have this very simple reset game button, we can add it onto our main menu here. So if we open up our menu screen, we can find where we have our start game button. And for now, we'll just below that put our reset game button. And we're building this as a separate widget because right now it's just going to be on the main menu, but later we might put this on other screens of our app. Either way, it's nice to keep this as a separate thing and we can use it really anywhere in our app. So let's go ahead and start updating this on pressed. What we want to happen is a dialogue to pop up that confirms that the user is going to clear out all this data. So we can do that with a show dialog. All right, so as you can see, we get this dialog now when we click the button and it's basically just asking us, are you sure you want to reset the game? And if you hit no cancel, it's going to go in context pop. So it's just going to remove the dialog there. And right now on the actual yes reset, nothing is really happening here and actually nothing will happen there. So we need to create this function in our Hive repository to actually reset the game. So this does not currently exist. And we will also need to context pop or ideally later we will redirect to a different screen, basically the initial screen of our app. So for now though, let's get this reset game working and we can do that within our Hive repository provider. So the reset game is actually pretty simple. We're going to be creating a new function. This is just a class that is accessible through Riverpod and the resetting is really just going to reset this box here, which is our game data box, which holds all of the information that is actually being stored and displayed on the screen here. So to reset the game, we can create that void function and it will be called reset game. And this takes no parameters. And then we can either use the box variable that is right here, because we're just going to take this hive box of game data, which is actually accessible through this box. And then we're just going to call clear on it. So this is going to completely empty the hive box that is holding all of this data here. And if we were to run it right now, it will work, but it won't appear to work. So let me show you what I mean. So if we hit yes, reset, it does pop that off because we added the pop here, but you can see all these values are still stored here. However, if you did restart the game here, you'll see those do get nulled out. So they were actually cleared. It just wasn't updated in our UI. So let me go ahead and add just a few values here. So we have values again, and let me show you how we can make sure that the UI is refreshed as well. If we go into our menu screen and look where these values are coming from, they're being read from this Hive repository. When we set this up, we were under the impression that the data here was never going to change from this actual screen. So that's why we were reading this. So if we change this to a watch, then the value here will get updated when there are changes made to the actual repository. However, if we were to save this and still run it, you're going to notice the exact same thing is happening. And that is because even though we're watching this, we're not actually resetting this or refreshing the provider at all. So because of the way we have this provider set up using essentially the whole class and then just using this function to get the values each time, we need to reset this entire provider so that we can go and re-get those values. And we can do this pretty simply right within our button. So the button here is going to reset the game. And then what we can do is call a ref dot invalidate and then we'll just invalidate this hive repository provider so now with this invalidate if we try it again 
you would expect this to work. However, if we reset the game here, we actually don't get the reset displayed here because there is one last thing that we need to do. And that is within our reset game, you'll notice the clear here is a future. So this does take a little bit of time. So we'll need to turn this from a void function into a future void. And then we need to async await this. And if we await for the clear here, it actually will make this read and reset await for that clear to finish. And then once that finishes, it should invalidate and then pop off. So now if we restart this and try it one last time and go to our main menu and then reset the game and click reset, you'll see all our values are reset back to null, which is exactly what we would want.